Friends, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. I think there was abnormal capsulocortical adhesion in this case because I could not do a nice hydrodissection. Let us observe the surgery. By this time, main incision and one side foot has been made. The capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye. The dye has been washed out and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is being injected and the anterior chamber is being filled up with this viscoelastic substance. And now I take a 26 case bent needle, introduce it through the main port, cut the anterior capsule, make a capsular tag. I hold this tag with a uterta forceps use the anterior leap of the main incision as fulcrum, meaning the uterta is keeping an upward thrust always on the anterior leap of the main incision and it is moving all around and thus preventing leakage of viscoelastic substance from the anterior chamber. If you do in this way, you can easily use a uterta forceps. In this case, the rexis has been good. The size is ideal. It is about 5.25 millimeter. And now I am trying to do hydrodissection. One attempt. See how many attempts I am making. This is second attempt. Third, enough of fluid is being injected. Fourth, fifth attempt. Now I am sweeping it and injecting and depressing the capsule, depressing the nucleus. Even then the nucleus didn't rotate. I could not separate the cortex from the capsule. So what to do now? Dish technique do it somehow but in this case the technique I am that I have learned from uh, a person whom I respect very much Dr. Narayan Bardaloi who is founder of Chandra Prabha Eye Hospital at Jorhat Assam I just I was with him for a couple of days and learned this technique no hydrofeco he also says piofeco. Just bury the deep into the substance of the nucleus and make a very good job through and through. Now turn the feco tip towards 3 o'clock and make another job. And now this nuclear fragment is free. Emulsify this free nuclear fragment and at this time inside out hydro is occurring. Turn the tip towards 9 o'clock hold it very firmly and make another chop and this is another big nuclear fragment emulsify this nuclear fragment and remove it now see what happens this is the fragment which is also free and now by this time enough of hydrodissection has occurred which Dr. Narayan Bardali says natural hydrodissection and the nuclear pieces rotate by this time and now this is a thick sheet of epinucleus at this time what I am doing is a little dangerous for the beginners you should come out and do hydro bring all this epinucleus at the center and then you can go again with the feco handpiece and you can see this is the big chunk of epinucleus in the sub incisional area what I am doing is I have asked for this Simco I am holding it with the Simco and pulling it towards the center care should be taken and we should keep an eye whether you can see the rexis margin or not there should not be junular dialysis at this time if this junule is weak, 
we just push pull the cortex like this genular dialysis can occur and now inject some more visco now I go again with the tip of the phaco handpiece introduce the tip into the anterior chamber and remove this epinucleus yes so the case has been nicely managed in spite of a bad hydrodissection and now this cortical matter which is from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock is to be removed I take the Simco cannula 23 gauze Simco cannula and remove this cortex and it is nicely removed posterior capsule is very clean now and this is hydro implantation keep the AC formed with irrigating fluid and this is a hydrophobic acrylic monofocal intraocular lens and it goes into the capsular bag and now the nucleus is oriented in such a way that I can go behind the eye well and clean the viscoelastic substance from the capsular bag this is a bit of moxifloxacin now I take BSS in a 27 gauge cannula and hydrate this stroma on either side of this paracentesis wound. And what happens? This opening close. It becomes watertight. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Friends, this is very important. If you want to see a quiet eye next day, this is the way. Postoperative inflammation, TAS, everything becomes very minimal if you do this final lavage and then form the anterior chamber with pure BSS and check the all the wounds. There should not be any leakage from any wound and then conclude the case. If the IOP is on the lower side, inject some more BSS and form the anterior chamber and conclude the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Don't be afraid if hydrodissection is not good. Employ this technique of no hydrophago and you will be able to do a very safe surgery. Thank you very much for your attention.